Today's lesson is lesson 99 on measuring using feet and inches. When you go to the doctor's office, the nurse will usually check how tall you are and how much you weigh. And they do that using a scale and a wall chart that shows how tall someone is. So today you're gonna to learn how to measure height in feet and inches. When we measure our height, do we tell people we are 50 miles tall or 60 pounds tall? No, we use the units of feet and inches to tell people how tall we are. So we're going to measure the height of this little girl here. And so if I was gonna estimate how tall she is, I might say, oh, I think she's five feet tall. And then we can check and see if I'm right. So let's move my ruler and start measuring. So we have one foot, two feet, two feet tall. Did I do that right? No, I'm pretty sure I did that wrong. Let's try again. Cause I don't think a child could be only two feet tall. Okay, let's try this again. There's one foot, two foot, two and a half feet. Did I do it right that time? No, I didn't do it right that time either. When I measure, I have to make sure to mark where, the, where I ended my measurement so I can keep going. So we're going to measure her first. Okay, so this is one foot. Okay, now I can move my ruler and line it back up with that line. So that's one foot, two feet. Okay, I'm gonna draw a line again. Move it again, three feet. And she's a little bit taller than three feet. So let's draw my line. And it looks like she's about three feet and maybe six inches tall. So if you have time, have your mom or dad or anyone around help try to measure how tall you are. So this child is going to be three feet and six inches tall. It helps to do this when you measure yourself or anyone else. Then you should make sure to measure with your back straight against a wall. Because that way you're not bent over and actually shorter. And make sure your feet are flat. No standing on your tippy toes. Okay, well that's all for this lesson. Good luck on your work.